All right, welcome to my week nine epic quest challenge guide. So most of the challenges this week are pretty easy. The hardest one, which isn't even hard at all, says activate a rift by purchasing it from a character. Obviously that means an NPC. So my absolute favorite one has to be Raven, which is just northwest of Sweaty Sands and just right of Fort Crumpet. She's at this little house right here and she sells a crappy exotic weapon that hardly anyone will be willing to buy. So chances are nobody's gonna land over here. Well, they might for this challenge, but you can see that if you talk to Rebirth Raven, right here it says activate a rift, but it's 245 gold to do this. That's quite expensive. So her location again is right here, just to the right of Fort Crump. Now someone will have to test this for me, but let's say I come here and I buy this rift and then Shoeless Joe Jackson comes in right after me and uses my rift. Will it still count? I don't know. That's what I want to see. So someone let me know in the comments if you can piggyback a rift that someone else bought and see if that counts. Now another one is Raz here at Colossal Crops and most people know about this one. However, a lot of people tend to land at Colossal Crops. So if you come to this one, heads up 7up, you may get sprayed. But clearly talking to Raz right here, 245 to activate this rift. All right, so I'm going to show you one more real quick and then I'll show you on the map where you can find the rest of them. So this is another secluded spot, but don't be surprised if multiple people drop here just for the challenge. So this island northeast of Steamy Stacks can spawn Castaway Jonesy right here. And if you talk to him again, he can activate a rift for 245 gold. So the other locations are right here, Lazy Lake, and this spawns Cabby. So he's the yellow and black speed racer guy, and he's right about here just southeast of the gas station. Now another one is Willow and she spawns all around Weeping Woods and only at nighttime. So you can find her creeping. She's like a vampire because she'll die when the sun comes up, but she can also teleport you with a rift. And then there's Bunker Jonesy. Now he has 10 different spawn locations. So I wouldn't worry about him because there's no telling where he's gonna be. So the main ones are Lazy Lake with Cabby, Castaway Jonesy up here, Raz at Colossal Crops, and Rebirth Raven over here to the right of Fort Crumpet. But Willow and Bunker Jonesy, I wouldn't do because they're just so random. So once you acquire 245 gold, pay it to the person and then go through the rift and you should be good to go. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is TaborTime.